and what really matters in America, and that is the biggest political story of 2012. It is not the Republican presidential race. It is the story of the mass uprising across this country against the assaults on labor rights and voting rights and human rights and civil rights in state after state after state and uprising powers by organized labor and its allies across this country. This, this is the fight that matters in America today. And it is the fight that is gonna change our politics, not just in the Republican Party, not just in the Democratic Party, we need to change our politics across across the spectrum in this country because we are 30 years into an assault on the working class in this country. And it is a class war, but our side has not been fighting back until now. Now our side is rising up to say, yeah, we'll join the battle and we aren't gonna stop until we have an America with economic and social justice and labor rights and human rights for every citizen. In this Now, I got myself involved in a little wrangle up in Wisconsin recently. <laughs> now, if you have a, it's a, it's a fine man there. You, you, enjoyed, you enjoyed the weather in Arizona, but you liked the pictures from Wisconsin last winter, didn't you, sir? Well, let's go back a second. I'll tell you a little bit about this Wisconsin fight. Tell you a little bit about this uprising across the country that doesn't begin or end in Wisconsin. In fact, that's coming right here to Arizona. And I'll tell you about why I'm here. I'll tell you up front why I'm in Arizona. When, I, when you write books, if, you, if your books yeah, sell a few copies, the publishers start to get nice to you. <laughs> they say on your tour for your book, well, you've got to go to New York City. That's okay. They say you've got to go to Washington, D.C. That's okay. So you've got to go to Seattle. That's a big book town. Okay, I'll do that. So you've got to go to uh, San Francisco. I said, okay, you can do it. Any place else you want to go in America? We were planning the tour about back in January, and Jan Brewer. Who <laughs> 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 out of that? I don't know if that's book out right now. I'd like to let you know I'm out selling her book. Because our budget isn't in the right place. We got a 
fiscal crisis. So you got to have austerity, and everybody's got to suffer. Oh, a cynical young woman sitting up here says, except the rich. Then her buddy goes, and the corporations. Do not steal my lines, ladies, or you will be escorted to the back. So austerity, everybody's got to suffer, right? It's going to have shared sacrifice. The cynics might say that it, that if we have shared sacrifice among everybody, it's not really equal level of suffering. Because if we say to the poorest kid in America, well, your share of the sacrifice is $100, that means a lot more than if you say to Bill Gates, your share of the sacrifice is $100. So shared that sacrifice by nature is immoral, right? It does not look at us as human beings in our circumstance. It says everybody just got to suffer. Now the alternative to austerity is accountability. And that says, you know, we used to have a lot of money in this country. I do believe that I was told this is the richest country in the world. Where'd the money go? Who took all the money? Who took the bank bailouts? Who took the corporate bailouts? Who took the Bush tax cuts and the Reagan tax cuts and all of the restructuring of our economic lives so that the wealth went upward? Who took all the money? Now, I know this is a complicated concept. <laughs> so let's reduce it to a cookie jar. Let's say there's a cookie jar on the table in the morning. And let's say you are all such young and beautiful people that every one of you is a kid in the household. And you go in and reach in for that cookie and your mom says, I'm sorry, can't have a cookie right now. We're building up a cookie jar. I'm going to be baking all day. You're putting, in fact, you can help me bake some of these cookies. Why don't you do some mixing right here? Why don't you run to the store? And get, why don't you give me a dollar and I'll go get you some more stuff. We're going to make some great cookies. We're going to fill this cookie jar at the top. And you're a loving kid. You love your mom. And you say, okay, mom, I'm going to help out. Let's build that cookie jar up to the top. Then we can have, everybody can have a cookie at the end of the day. And you do your part. And then you head off to school. And you come home at the end of the day and you look at that cookie jar and it is empty. Not a single cookie in it. And you say, Mom, what happened to the cookies? Your mom says, we have experienced a fiscal crisis. <laughs> we have a budget shortfall in this household. Ever since your older brother came home about an hour ago, somehow there's been a fiscal crisis here. So you're going to have to have shared sacrifice. Nobody gets cookie. And you say to your mom, Mom, I love you. I respect you. But i got another idea. I don't think anybody could eat all those cookies in one sitting. I'm going to bet if we go into my brother's room, we're going to find the cookies. <laughs> so let's go, Mom. Let's go get a cookie, and everybody gets that share. We don't have to have shared sacrifice. We can have shared cookies. <laughs> Your mom says, I, I thought that, that kid or that other kid of mine looked a little suspicious. Let's go. And that's accountability. Accountability is, says, no, I'm not going to share sacrifice. I want my cookie. I want my part of what I built. I built the most successful, most economically powerful nation in the world, and I don't want to be told if I'm a senior on Medicare or Social Security, if I'm a disabled person looking for Medicaid, if I'm a student looking for higher education, if I'm a citizen looking for basic services, police, fire, my streets plowed in the winter and you know kept clean in the summer. If I'm looking for those things, I want those things because I made this country. I don't want shared sacrifice. I want accountability. I want to go find the people that took my cookie, and I want to give a cookie to everybody.